Hi, I'm Victoria Harris from Cab Mac, and this is Meatloaf Stuff with Mac and Cheese. Let's go over our ingredients. So, for our meat, we're going to use ground beef. Feel free to use turkey or pork. Get some Italian sausage. Just squeeze it out of the casing. Using rubber gloves because it's just less messy. squeeze this all out. Okay, let's go over our other greens we're going to use today. Right here we have some um, sauteed onions, shallots, and garlic. Per American standards, some ketchup. We have some panko and cream. That's going to help hold it all together. Some cheddar cheese. We also have some eggs. It's also going to help bind everything together. And of course, we have some mac and cheese that we prepared earlier that we're going to top it with. All right, so let's get started. Just Add the onions, add some ketchup, that looks good, let's bring up some breadcrumbs, I'm going to reserve some for later in case it's too moist or too wet, some heavy cream, let's put in two eggs, start, and we're going to sprinkle on some cheddar cheese. Too much cheese is never a bad thing. So let's take off these glass. So I'm just gonna, and you can feel free to use your hands if, if that's easier for you. Just mix together everything. Got the eggs pretty well broken up. And let's not forget to add our salt and pepper. It's a little dry, so I'm going to add a little bit more cream. I'm just going to add that last egg. Now I'll start layering our meatloaf with mac and cheese. That's nice and moist. The panko and cream and the eggs help keep it that way. A nice even layer. And really smuggle shallots and garlic. It's good. All right, here's some mac and cheese that we prepared earlier. Just want to layer that on top. Spread that out. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to add a little bit more cheese, so why not? Let's add another layer of meat. Bread, a little bit of panko because it's always great to have some texture. Okay. And I'm going to pop this in the oven about 350 for maybe about 35 to 45 minutes until it's thoroughly cooked through. It's been about 35 minutes. Let's check on our meatloaf stuff with mac and cheese. Okay. Okay. So it's nice and brown on top. With any meat, you want to let it rest for at least 10 minutes so all the juices redistribute throughout the dish. And if you're worried about the temperature, just check and internally. It should be 165. I'm Victoria Harris, and this is our Meatloaf Stuff with Mac and Cheese. Mm -hmm.